what's going on subscriber requests want to know what i thought about the new nfl helmet rule we back motor city sports talk we in the building i actually did another video on this on my other channel talking about chicago bears rookie roquan smith from georgia uh wanted in his contract where if he gets suspended for this this new helmet rule that no guaranteed money will come out so y'all can check out that story as well too man He's still holding out, I believe. And the rule is you can't leave with the crown of your helmet to make any tackles out there. So like that, um, they want the helmet to be only a protection usage only. They don't want it to be used as a weapon or or as a, a tool to tackle or make hits out there. And that's tough. That's tough. For one, that's tough to even see for a referee. And it's not. I'm not sure if they're going to even do a replay. And also, you could be suspended from the game for this. And it's a part of the game now. The reason this rule is originating is because not a lot of former players are coming back saying the NFL knew about CT, they knew about concussions and how dangerous it could be, all these drug addicts and stuff of that nature, and their families are coming back to uh, sue the league when all the league has to do is make these players sign a waiver for. These players know what they sign up for. You hear professional players say that. We know we signed up for it. And a lot of players, you know, you know, fuck their money off. I hate to say it like that. They fuck their money off and... Now they want to come back and get a money grab through the NFL. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. A lot of players knew that. You know, the NFL used to popularize and market the NFL off of big hits. And players knew that. It was at a point in time where the players didn't even have a face mask. It was a point in time where where old Hall of Famers like Deacon Jones used to slap players in their helmets when they was rushing the passer. They knew about this. And a lot of this has to do with trying to say they bacon on making the game safe. But in the process, they're destroying the game worse than this national pro, national anthem protest is. That's that's mean. That's that's little shit, man. That shit that that could be resolved like the NBA did. Like just tell the players, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got the sponsors, you know, and we want to keep the money. And it's about coming at the players the right way and probably giving them incentives. You know what I'm saying? Giving them a, a, a if they don't do that, you know, giving them percentage out of a out of a bucket of this much million dollars. You know, just stuff they can talk out and they also can. Do stuff in the community that the players want them to do. And that's, that's little stuff. This is the stuff that's destroying the game. No touching the receivers five yards. Uh, um, uh, you can't hit the quarterback outside the strike zone, not the head or lower legs. Stuff like that that Joe Theismann and Joe Montana wish they had because they'd be throwing for 5,000 yards every season too. You know, if they really want to make the, the league more offensive and more points, but defense keep adjusting, they keep prevailing, and also they want to save their money and save and save them on the back end from getting sued, but all they have to do is make the players sign a waiver. And every player knows what they signed up for that played football from Pop Warner, Pal, high school, freshman, JV, varsity, all the way to college. Juco, college, all the NFL, you know what you signed up for. And there's no way that you can ask those referees to get that call right consistently you know even with replays you slowing the game down it doesn't matter if you leave with your helmet it's the game they know what they signed up for and what you're gonna see now is is a lot of teams scoring more points the defense having to adjust you're gonna see games lost because of this and i can bet you a pretty penny that the detroit Lions will be a victim of this rule and it probably will be it probably will be wrong it's gonna lose us a game or three you know it's a ridiculous rule you know what I'm saying? They're making football soft, and they're talking about what well, is anthem thing and and this domestic violence thing, or is or or, or the, what the players are doing off the field is destroying the league. No, all that anthem stuff is not destroying the league. NFL players have always been Billy badasses. It, 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 they have never been majority church guys. You know, more more often than not, the thugs and the Billy badasses are, are, have made up the majority of a football team. Nobody cares if a lot of people, a lot of players are even juicing and that they get swept on swept under the rug in that NFL. You know, they don't even really talk about that like that. A lot of players go out there, punch, fight, and then you don't have players in the NFL kill people, couple of them, come back and play under Paul Tackle abuse watch. Nobody gave a hell. Really. They played. They told we need uh, Roger Goodell to clean up the image of the league. He's destroyed single handedly is gonna be the dude responsible for destroying the NFL. Mishandling the Ray Rice case, mishandling all these rules, uh, popularizing suspended players and making them guilty even when they proven innocent in the court of law and taking it to his hand. He single-handedly destroyed the NFL. 
and, and these helmet to helmet rules and all that. This is all about protecting the, the owner's money, protecting them on the back end. But ultimately, it's going to take money, steal money, and kill the NFL. Also, they talking about they care about the safety. They're making these guys play on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. Primary football should only be played on Sunday, an occasional Sunday night game, and Monday night game. That's it. It's a contradiction. They don't care about the NFL. They don't care about the players. They care about the player, the, po- the, uh, the pockets of the owners and not coming back being sued by players continuing to say, well, they knew about CT, they knew about concussions and stuff of that nature. And also, they want to put a better scoring product on the field. They want more 40, 30, 50-point games than more 10 to 17 type games. But a real organic fan knows they just want really, really good football. And they're destroying that. The, 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 not the image of the league has been destroyed by Anthem, Arrest, or DVs, or whatever it may be. Roger Goodell's popularizing the softness of the league Ha, ha, is what's going to destroy the league. What's going on on the field and how they changing the game is ultimately destroying the league. And the NBA gets it. They're innovative and always changing. But I guarantee you, if you remember nothing else I said in this video, remember the Lions will be a victim of this rule call at some point in this league. And it's probably going to decide a game in a crucial moment. And that's how the Lions are always getting played. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All that information is in the description. Business email, we want to do a video collab or you have a, a business type of question. Or partnership. That's uh, my email is there as well. Appreciate all you brothers out there, man. We moving. Continue to share the video. Subscribe. Hopefully, the guy who subscribe uh, requested this video like it. If you got a video request, hit me up on social media. In the DMs, all my stuff is there in the description. One time for the one time. We gone.